The Black Cross Schwarzkreuz. <laughs> Here's a scene straight out of uh, Mega Man X2. So they're, they're basically the X Hunters. She's done well to make it this far. Oh, her name's Link. There's the other sister, Wrecked. If I remember right, um, in the original version, the other girl's name is Rinku with an R, so it's translated as Link. I mean, in the end, it makes no difference, right? It's basically the same thing. But it's a little weird that these twin sisters now have uh, their names now start with different letters. I feel like it's more appropriate to have them both start with an R, or, you know, even both start with an L. But, you know, maybe it being L and R is supposed to be a reference to something. If you look at their hair, like the... What do you call that? Is that a ponytail? Or some kind of tail there. The tail's on different sides, depending on which sister you're looking at. Naughty, naughty little Aifa. Wow. So edgy. Yeah, see? The ponytail, it's on the other side. It's on her... her left. I look at the old ways. Alright, so... Now we begin the next phase of the game. This is basically the equivalent of the first fortress stages, which would have been the uh, Zeppelin stages in the first RKS. The cool part though, is that in this game, you can take on the stages in any order you'd like. And then if I remember right, you also get a password too, after beating each one. So it's not like you have to do all this in one sitting, you can just do it at your own pace. So that's really, really nice. So we have Skirok we've seen already in the beginning. That last name though, is that what I think it means? Yuru? Then we've got Aifa, who we've seen already. Yeah, you can see her katakana there, it's... Oh, it's not... Yeah, it's Aifa, not Aifa, okay. Then this is... Wrecked and Link Refractia. And this is Pamela, okay. So, I mean, since Pamela is like the, the leader, we'll save her for last then. Um, let's go after Skarok. He's got a big hammer. Takes off her glasses and fighting. Droi. So she's like the third one? Will of the Warrior. So, these little things. I believe. Those are a reference to Mega Man 7, like these little bombs that uh, explode when you touch them in a time nerf. At least I think it's the first time those were shown in the Mega Man series. This looks way easier. Oh, never mind. That could have been really dangerous if I wasn't careful there. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. So, there's that giant met in the background, um, it causes the ground to shake, and then if you're on the ground while it happens, then um, you get immobilized temporarily. It's actually pretty important, because I believe the boss also ends up using this mechanic. Like, uh, making the ground shake so that you can't move. There's an E-Tank there, I'll take it. Sick. Whoa, giant met. I should have slid.
Actually, there's something I want to test. One of the weapons that I received earlier, the um, the ballerina one. Which one is it? Kopi Kreisel. Yeah, this one. This weapon is like uh, one of the more interesting ones in the game. Um, what I remember is that on certain enemies and bosses, it does like a billion damage, like way more damage than you expect. And I think it's the only weapon that can actually break through shields. So if like an enemy has a shield up or they're like temporarily invincible, then you can actually break through it using this weapon. I don't know if it works here though. Oh, it does work. Yeah, so even though he was guarding, he still took full damage. That's cool. Gotta be careful here. I don't know if I'll die if I get crushed by these. What's happening? Oh, are there no more boxes? I guess not. Oh, there are more boxes. I just had to wait for them. Hmm. I guess in order to get that without the uh, rush coil, I would have to jump on it while it was falling. This is a pretty cool stage. I keep underestimating the hitbox that thing. Oh shoot! I didn't even realize, but my, my life is super low. Can't really take that much more hits. Been too careless in this stage. Uh oh. Well, oh, it makes it fall too. Well, this is not very good. Um, half life. I have three lives, so it's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> Resting on a bet. Long time no see. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is actually the first time they've met. We've already seen Skorok, but that was uh, in Tia's point of view. This is actually the first time that uh, Brodia has beaten her. This takes me back. Are CT and Grolla doing well? She used to be a member of the Special Forces Division of RKS. She has a really weird personality. Kind of had like this uh, big sister vibe. Yeah, so that attack she just did there, um, oh shoot. Um, if you're on the ground, then... Oh my god, I just got destroyed there. But yeah, if you're on the ground, then you get paralyzed, and then I think she ends up doing like some special attack on you that does a billion damage. What is her weakness anyways? I should figure that out. Let's 
That's not it. Oh, she even blocks. That's cool. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, this is not going well. Uh, she got me. I didn't get to hit her with that weapon. Let's let's try again. That's not it. Oh my god, she got me! Yeah, that command throw does like a billion damage. I got hit. That's not it. That doesn't do anything. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Alright, I gotta be careful. This is my last life, I think. So it's not any of these. Probably this one then. I'm gonna have to tank up if I uh, get close to dying. This is really bad. Like, <laughs> I haven't made any progress on figuring out her pattern yet. Ooh, that's definitely it. Shoot! No, pause, 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 pause. Oh my god. Hmm. That's a pretty funny face. Alright, so we figured out her weakness, but... Gotta start all over again. Man, that sucks. Like, she caught me in the command throw. But then I couldn't even uh, pause to tank up. I'll oh, take this one this time. Oh shoot! That's right. I forgot about that. Alright, at least I know how the stage works now, so it should go by a lot faster. I'm also going to avoid shooting those things because they end up exploding. One thing that's really nice about this stage is that you do get a really easily accessible uh, energy tank. So I get to reload on that. There we go. This is the boss, right? Yep. points. That's right. It's really hard to get that. Maybe instead of waiting for the last one, I'm supposed to use these two barrels here as a staircase to get up there? That's my guess. What happened? 
Oh, I'm like, I'm blind apparently. I didn't even see there's a platform there. Whoops. Alright, let's try that again. Totally didn't even see the platform. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Oh! Right. Those can't kill you. Round one. Gotta be careful. Note to self, be really careful around those bombs, because those hitboxes last a lot longer than you expect. No, no! Oh my god. I even saw it coming, but uh, I didn't jump fast enough. Wow, this is not going well. I have zero lives already. So I'm gonna have to beat the boss in one shot. That's assuming I can even get to the boss without dying. Alright, one chance. We got the weapon at least. Just gotta be careful with my life. We got two A-tanks. We can skip this. Oh! Wow, that was... that was way easier than I expected. In the end, I never really got to see what she did in Phase 2, because she died so fast. She's happy even though she lost. She always been that way. She hasn't a care in the world. She's nothing but a waste of my time. That's cold. <laughs> Three. Or is it four? No, wait. Five. Definitely five people. Well, we've seen all five, right? So you have two sisters, and then, uh, and then Skarok, and Aifa, and Pamela. What does the Pope want with Tia? Unharmed, huh?
Yeah, that's so weird. Definitely like the least serious of the group there. Alright, so we got 